All right, guys, so welcome back. Thank you for hanging out, spending a few moments here with me. If you're new, definitely make sure you hit that subscribe button. I really do appreciate it. Now there's a handful of people that have been wondering how the charger's doing. I'm still getting a little bit of a check engine light because the pump is not keeping up. That light starts uh, reminding me that I gotta upgrade the fueling. But I still can have a little bit of fun. But that's not why you clicked on this video today. We have the inline Turbo 6 making some news again. or 2018 FCA took out a patent for an inline turbo 6 and everybody has been speculating and waiting uh, for them to use it now the speculation is that the inline 6 is going to make it into the new age of chargers and challengers equipped with a bunch of electric so it's basically going to be a very high performance um, hybrid okay and you see that with a lot of very expensive cars on the market today so the inline six turbo with just the combustion engine alone is reported that it would be in the neighborhood of about 500 to 525 horsepower but then once you add the all electrical components who knows it'll likely be much faster than a Hellcat but that being said, you know, I have been waiting for this for years now, just the same as the Cuda, the Ghoul, everything. Uh, this to me reminds me of, of, of that. Uh, it's fun to talk about, but I don't know how realistic it is. I don't know if they're, they're really going to do it. I think at some point they were uh, actually planning on replacing the 5.7 or the 392 with it. I just don't see the, this as being something that's going to be happening. The reason for this is because it appears as though Dodge is going to be entering an all-electric phase. I think that they're really going to be phasing out the 5.7, the 392, and they said that there's going to be three new models that are unrelated to the Chargers and the Challengers, so I think we're going to be entering a new age of Mopars, uh, for that matter. And uh, unfortunately, I don't think uh, the combustion engine is really in the the game plan. Uh, I was hoping for a, a smaller displacement V8 with the electrical components around it uh, to, you know, just have a, a crazy high horsepower hybrid, you know, still that, that same V8, you know, sound when you start it up and everything. You know, I'm no inline six or V6 hater. I just don't see this actually happening. And the reason for this is because it's been around forever, just like all the other Mopar speculation. Uh, you know, if you disagree with me, by all means, drop it in the comments below. Um, you know, the ideal is we get a new V8 motor with an inline six, and both of them are making crazy amounts of power. Uh, I just don't know if that's is really gonna be the case. Uh, but I've seen a whole bunch of these articles now uh, getting published on, uh, you know, I think it was uh, Hot Cars, uh, Car Buzz, Car and Driver, uh, Auto Evolution, and I think they're piggybacking off of uh, that inline six turbo uh, news that was released in uh, 2018. And, uh, you know, again, each year this stuff kind of resurfaces and nothing seems to ever move forward uh, with it. Back in 2018, I said there was going to be a Hellcat, a Red Eye, I mean, an inline turbo six and an inline four turbo and uh, it doesn't really look like that's going to be happening so all right guys definitely let me know what you think in the comments below always interested to hear what you have to say 